Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. Now this is just gonna be a quick vid. I found what I think is an insane value watch. I mean, you get a lot for your money with this edifice. And I'm on a little bit of an edifice kick here recently. I recently reviewed that uh, Honda F1 edifice about a week or so ago. Uh, I found another one and man, you get solar and sapphire and a power reserve indicator all for $135. So again, guys, this is just gonna be a real quick vid. Uh, again, freeze frame the specs if you want all the specs, but I'll give you just the basics. Anyway, let's go ahead and hop into this thing. All right, here is your advertisement, sapphire crystal. I mean, to get a sapphire crystal on a $135 watch uh, and solar and the power reserve indicator, uh, just crazy, 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 crazy. Warranty card, there you go. Um, something about taking off stickers, because if you leave the stickers on, it can get dirt underneath it and rust the case or something like that. Uh, what is this? Um, what do you do if your watch stops or does not operate normally? And of course, just the regular manual. Let's go ahead and take it out of the box here. Nice gray edifice tin, pretty cool looking. All right, again guys, just a quick video. It's not gonna be a full review. I just saw this thing, I was like, man, I think my subscribers would love to see this. This is basically kind of like an F1 style watch as well. There's a chronograph, you can do lap times and all that other type of stuff. But there you go, man. Good looking watch too, insanely good looking. I like it a lot. Let me go ahead and uh, do the bezel here. Great click action on the bezel. Really nice click action. Lines up perfectly, look at that. All right, so let's go ahead and put up the specs. And again, freeze frame it if you want all of them. All right, but you are looking at a 47 millimeter case. It's 12 millimeters thick and it's 50 millimeters lug to lug. So those are your basic specs. Go ahead, freeze frame it if you want. All right, guys, the reason why, again, I want to bring you this watch, I mean, just an insane value from Edifice and Casio. Good looking watch, again, solar powered, sapphire crystal, chronograph, you get date, you get a power reserve indicator, and you do that just by pressing down here for three seconds. There you go, it's at high. Uh, this only has a, I believe, a five month power reserve on it, which is not a big deal, but just a fantastic looking watch. And one thing I did like, they didn't use the main second hand as the chronograph fan, which I think is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start the chronograph. You can see the six o'clock sub dial start to count down. That is your chronograph second hand. Go ahead, stop it, restart it. There you go. Now you also, if you notice, you get uh, you get a 24 hour dial over here at three o'clock, and then you get the um, the the uh, chronograph other chronograph hand is over here at nine o'clock. The um, indexes are insanely. I, I just love them. They're insanely raised off of the dial. Obviously, j they're just huge. I mean, I like the handset. I like the the second hand being accented like this, uh, in that nice bright yellow. I just love the whole look of the watch. And you'll see through these macro shots, I did take some macro shots for you. You can see how three dimensional this dial is. Guys, for 135 bucks, man, you just can't beat this watch. There's the side over there with all the pushers and the crown. Here is the other side. You have that little bump out right there. Kind of give it, you know, a little bit of symmetry because you got all this other stuff on the uh, right hand side. It's a little bit of symmetry on the left hand side. And let me go ahead and show you these. Uh, macro shots real quick all right here's the buckle here's one of the case back here are the crown and pushers here's a close-up of that dial here's one of the hands and that six o'clock sub dial where it says sapphire Here's one of those huge indexes. Here's another one of those indexes. Here's a good shot of the second hand. Here's a good shot of that sub dial. You can really see the uh, how big that sub dial is, how deep it is. And here's one of the sub dial really close up. You can see the low, medium, high, and sapphire. So anyway, just, I mean, I just love this watch. I love it for, you know, two things. One, the way it looks, it's fantastic looking. 
Obviously the second hand hits every index on point, no problem. It's just a great looking watch and you get all of that for 135 bucks. I mean, you're talking, again, Sapphire, uh, solar powered, power reserve indicator, date, chronograph. I mean, I just think this is one of the best value watches I have found uh, in a long time and I really, really like it. Let me go ahead and try it on for you. Fits great right out of the box. Look at that, man. Good looking watch. It comes in multiple different variations, by the way. They have one with a, uh, like a NATO style strap and a couple other versions. Fits great, man. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Loom. You're not going to be impressed with the Loom. Casio really doesn't do much with their Loom, honestly. But uh, it's not a big deal. Let's go ahead and loom this thing up. You're just going to see the hour and minute hand. There you go. I mean, not bad. It gets the job done, right? So there you go. All right, so there's the loom. Let's cut everything back on. And guys, again, if you want to get one of these, head on over to Amazon. They're currently $135. I'll make sure to put that link in the description field for you. I'd love to know your thoughts if you think this is really a good value. I do. Uh, fantastic looking. You get all of those features, again, for $135. I think it's just one of the best finds that I have found, <laughs> finds that I have found, uh, in quite a while, man. Really, really good looking watch. You know, it's a Casio. It's going to last forever. Uh, just take care of it. Um, great looking watch, man. Great, great looking watch. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring this to you, let you all know about it. So if you want to go out there and get one, again, head on over to Amazon. They're $135. I'll make sure to put the link in the description field for you. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell. And uh, thanks for watching. I have got tons and tons of watches coming up. I mean, literally, my desk is piled with watches right now. So I've got a ton of content coming for you. I think you're going to like a whole bunch of stuff. I've got something really big. I mean, something huge coming in a couple weeks. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you all more about that later. But anyway, guys, until the next review, I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.